Hi guys, before I start the video, I want to tell you about a free competition to enter for today's little art project. Uh, so basically, I'm trying to drum up a bit of support for the channel, uh, and all I ask is you watch today's video, hit the thumbs up, uh, make a comment below, and um, that way I can do a raffle from all the names of people who've made comments below, and it's a way to contact you, uh, and subscribe. And when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a raffle, and I shall send this to somebody somewhere in the world, hopefully not in Australia, <laughs> because that's a long way away, but I'll send it to wherever it needs to go. Uh, and hopefully sometime this summer there'll be a proud new owner um, sat with their feet, getting warm, having a beer at a VW show or something. This is how I made it. I've used a bit of old metal shelf to construct the sides of the burner and um, they've got a really nice return up on the top which should be nice and sturdy because we've got bits of wood on there and stuff uh, and also I think it'll look nice and finished. Um, so I've just got to kind of curve it a little bit at the top to meet the profile of the barrel, uh, the cylinders uh, or the roof line. But I think they'll look really good, I like it. What better things to do at 3 o'clock in the morning in a freezing cold garage, have a little doodle. So uh, I've got the windows to cut out now. Um, some headlights and a VW badge to fabricate to, to weld on there and somehow I'm going to do the trim I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, whether it be a, a piece of steel or uh, cut into it with a grinder, not sure, not decided but that's the vague plan I've just ground back the welds and it's not looking too bad. Quite chuffed with it so far. Uh, I've got a couple of places where I need to uh, zap over it again and grind it back. So the butt welds are a bit not very well measured in places. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to twitch those up again, but all good really. Um, so just going to put some arches in here and some kind of wheels of some kind. So I didn't really have anything pipe wise big enough to use as big crazy daft wheels is what I wanted to do. So kind of you in with that which is a bit of pipe I've opened up and I'll go in there that sort of height I'm going to cut out the arches. Oh no, it's a bad accidental mistake. Splitty front. Oh what a moron. <laughs> That's better. I guess it makes it more authentic because there's not many splitters around that haven't had the rear arches welded up. We've got a full size arch on the front and a half arch on the back. 
Small details and all that. We got some wheels! Oh yeah! <laughs> cool. I've decided it looks a little bit too much like a push me pull you. So I'm going to put some door windows in. Uh, just so the front looks more like the front. At least it's a panel van then. Better, definitely better. Got a leather pipe and taking a couple of slices at an angle. Give me a couple of headlights. Which should look something like that. Awesome, really happy with that. I'm just going to do the VW badge now. So to make the badge, I just basically took a slice off the pipe to make a little ring, and then I just freehanded uh, have a bit of sheet, the, the VW bit. It's actually quite tricky getting the VW bit right. I had a couple of attempts to get that even close. But uh, I think it'll do. That was a tricky little weld. <laughs> So we are done! I'm quite tough with it, it's turned out quite well. I say I've, uh, I've tried to make it more splittish than some of the stuff I've uh, seen. So I did a quick Google search before I started uh, for log burner and splitty and uh, a few came up. I wanted to make mine a little bit more realistic -y, a little bit more detailed. Uh, I know it's nothing to scale at all, but I don't know, I wanted to make it just that little bit special and uh, that's why it's taken so long so if this was a business plan i wouldn't have business ages ago because it's taken about three days in uh, days and evenings and night times it's, it's two o'clock in the morning right now uh, so that's taken a long time to make it so uh, it was a labor of love take care bye bye